This is how to make a stop motion effect using only control rig. So it will take your animation from this to this. And this can be applied to any character. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the character to create control rig. So that creates a new control rig class. We can open that up. And what we're going to do first is create a timer. So in the my blueprint tab on the left, under variables, click plus, change this to a float. I'm going to call this timer and I'm going to drag it in, do get timer and add delta time to that. So whatever timer is, add delta time, which is the time that's passed since the last frame. And we're going to update, so do set timer to this value. So this will just update the timer at one second per second. And then we're going to use a branch where we will check our time value, so we get timer. And if this is greater than some number, so let's say greater than one, all we're going to do is we're not going to modify the animation at all at this point, we're just going to save the current animation pause. So what we'll do is we'll do get pause and you'll see get pause cache. So I'll get that. And from the pause output, which is essentially all the information about the bonds of the character at the current moment, we're going to drag out from that and do promote to variable. I'll just rename this to saved pause. So now we've got the saved pause as, as this variable here. I'm going to connect this to the true path. And then lastly, on the true path, we're going to reset our timer. So do set timer and just set it back to zero. So now every second, it will go through this and save the pause and then reset the timer. But it's not doing anything now because we've not got anything connected to the false branch, which is what's happening most of the time. So on the false branch, what we're going to do is apply a pause cache. So we search for apply pause cache false goes into execute and the pause we want to apply is our saved pause so we drag that in get plug that into pause and now what will happen is it's saving this every time this value is upgraded than one and then resetting the timer and it comes back around the next frame goes down the false path and applies our saved pause and all we need to do is we need to just put that into the animation blueprint for this character so we add a control rig class and this could be anything that you've got previously for your animation. So it can be state machines, other control rigs, whatever you want. We connect that to the control rig node and then connect that to the result. And then click on the control rig node and on control rig class, you're going to set the class that you've just created. So in my case, it's motion character control rig, compile. And then what you'll see is after one second, it will be freeze framing but we don't want to have to wait for one second every time. So what we can do in our control rig class is set the timer, the default value just to something high so that it's always going down the true path first. So it's always checking what if the time is greater than one and it always will be on the first frame and then it resets. So the first thing it does is just save a pause and reset. So now you can see that when we simulate, it's already in the freeze frame. And what you can do is even whilst it's simulating, if you open up the control rig tab, you can adjust the value. So where we've got the get timer greater than one. If I change this value to, let's say 0 0.1, you'll see that it's now moving faster. And I can do 0 0.5. And if you want to be precise about it, what you could do, let's say you want 12 frames per second, which is probably common for this kind of style. You can just type in this box one divided by 12 to get a 12th of a second. And this can work for any character. Just create the control rig class, put the control rig node within the animation blueprint and you're done.